been huge for women in the WWE, and our next guests are twin sisters who have been at the forefront for over a decade, but outside of the ring, they've let us in on every detail of their lives from babies to mm -hmm. breakups on their hit show, Total Bellas. Take a look. You don't get embarrassed, like, rolling around in Ferrari. You're joking, right? It just seems like guys go out and buy, like, fancy cars when they go through, like, a big breakup or, like, they get a hot young girlfriend or they do something crazy. I feel like you're acting like a man. Oh, and a woman can't do that? Oh! oh. Please welcome WWE superstars Nikki and Brie Bella. Yes! yes. Come in. You know what? I'm a car guy. I was actually like, oh, I kind of like that. Uh, right? Don't driving, encourage though? her. I was driving. You were the yeah. can of She woman was the that? Debbie okay. Downer over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go to workout. We were on our way to workout, which we were super late because we had to take a Ferrari ride. And you had the sun shining on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I see this twin interaction. And I have twins. They're 14 now. But I can't imagine if my twins were to pick up one day and say, we want to be wrestlers. So, yeah. so how did, no, 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 because I would be like, what? How did, your, how did your family react to that? That oh, reaction, yes. my mom was like, what? And we were like, mom, it's our calling. And my mom was really scared. She was supportive, but she was scared. But I think the biggest thing she was scared about is we had to go to Tampa, Florida, and we had never been over there. Mm. My mom literally thought alligators are just walking the oh. streets. She's like, but <laughs> alligators. And I'm like, what? They're in ponds. Like everyone, like people live out there. So she was more freaked out from it with she alligators. She was, and I mean, and it was quite an experience driving across country with Brie, our first time ever alone. It was And weird. that was a fun adventure, but when our mom first came to our first show, that wasn't televised, just in a gym, and she saw it, and she's like, okay, I get it now. Yeah. But, but yeah. my parents were scared when I rode the subway in New York. My mom yeah. was like, did you yeah. take off your jewelry? And it's like, one, I don't have any jewelry, mm -hmm. and two, what year were you here? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. But um, everything plays out on the camera, and mm -hmm. I think dating is hard enough regularly. Yes. How are you letting the, it, this is for Nikki, um, yeah. but is how is being single and dating on camera? Oh my gosh, it's, I mean, it's not the worst, but kinda. Um, imagine having like a first date after so many years, but like you're already nervous, like being on the date and like, what do I do? What are the rules? And then I'll say, look, and then I have like all these crew people staring at me and cameras in my face, and I'm like, okay. Um, it's like awkward. I would say something oh. was so awkward, and then I totally would have too much wine, and it was oh, just. Oh, you did? Because I watched the footage back. It's just very <laughs> embarrassing. I was like, "That's how you date? Ew, we need whatever. to talk." We need I didn't to help know there was a handbook, so I forgot to read it. I like the peanut gallery, sister yes. on sister advice. I, I give her the most honest advice, which I feel like helps her out in life. So. Okay, You're but welcome. I have a question. Okay, <laughs> I, I, the big debate we've had here on the yes, show about staying in touch with your ex. Yeah. Now, Nikki, you said uh, no. that you will call your ex. Roy, Roy already laughing at this one. You say you will call your ex <laughs> to let him know when you're going on a date. I do. So how do you both feel about, all three of you, how do y'all feel yeah. about well, that? I'm not going to talk about that at all. My girlfriend here, I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> at all. Valentine's Day is coming up. You're not about to ruin my life. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Roy. I'll leave you out of this. I think it's, I mean, I think it, everyone has a different situation. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, is I think if you could set that example, like we had an amazing connection, we're still good friends, then, you know, you should be able to showcase that and stay close. And I think it's... Disagree. I just think if you start to date someone else, then you're honest about it. Like, if you're going to be in a serious re relationship, like, hey, my... My ex and I are like good friends. Like, look at Dwayne Johnson and Dana Garcia. Like, I think they're a great example of a married couple mm -hmm. that divorced and now they run an empire together. And yeah. so I think it can happen. I just think it's all about that honesty in the beginning. I don't know. I, I disagree. Uh, it depends well, I, how I, it ends. Oh, I, go, yeah. oh, go ahead, yeah. Bree. How do I you feel? You break yeah. up, that's it. Like, I think when you're you continue to talk, it's like it's Who hard if you to were move meant on. To be best friends. 
Yeah. Yeah. See? Okay. She's like, I'm your best soul friend. Friends. I'm your twin. You guys are yeah. soul friends. Exactly. Soul friends. Soul, soul friends. friends. Okay. Now, Brie, you have a daughter named yes. Birdie. Mm -hmm. And we always talk, I, I'm pregnant right now with you the... You look amazing. Bro. Thank you. Yeah, you but always the... <laughs> That's my boss clapping. <laughs> Very corporate and appropriate. Um, but uh, it's hard enough when you kind of come back to yourself after having a baby, but you're yeah. also performing at an elite level. How did you how did you recover and get back to yourself after the baby? It was tough. I mean, I gained 50 pounds in my pregnancy, and I actually thought because I'm an athlete, I would just snap right back. Wrong. Definitely did not. I had a really long journey, and Birdie's a year and a half, and I still have five pounds of baby weight to lose. But where are you hiding? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> take it back to the green room. But, um, <laughs> but I, uh, my the biggest thing I had to do my, was accept my body, my yeah. new body. Even my pediat or not my pediatrician, my doctor told me she was just like, Brie, the hips are never gonna go back down. Like, you just gotta love yourself. And it was hard on me, but I did. But also with workouts, we're so tired as new moms. Yeah. And I didn't wanna force myself, because I stressed myself out when I was like, wait, you need to work out today, but I was so tired. So it was finding the energy, but just allowing my body to heal. And, and go just, easy on yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and just to let my body tell me, like, okay, it's time. Like You just made a human, so yeah. kind of nailed it. Yeah. And my labor was a workout. I'm like, this workout, like, lasts me oh, a year. it was exhausting. 22 it was hours exhausting. for me. You know, Did yeah. you have twin feelings? The yes. I thought I was going in there, and, like, she was going to pop her right out. And 22 hours later, I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, you know, I, like I did something where they hooked me up to a machine to induce labor. Like, give me labor pain. Yeah, we tried to put him into labor. Oh. It was nothing. Oh, yeah. He talks. Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. We will be doing a recap, though. They didn't go up high enough. Yeah. No, they, but we'd be in charge. I got to say this, though. They're the reason that men don't have babies, because there would be nobody yeah. on this planet. Yeah. I got to say that. Right, Roy? Oh, that's yeah. True. yeah. Roy, I get a stomach cramp. I just go lay down. I'm like, I can't deal with this. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Well, you know what? We're gonna, you can catch new episodes of Total Bella Sunday at 9 p.m. on E! 